to see how long he can keep this dominance up. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. A one and two count to the Blue Jays signal caller. Boy, he center cut that fastball. It comes in in the high 90s, but that's a danger. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Blue Jays go down in order. They trail in this one 11 to nothing. again Eric Thames he launched one over the wall back in the opening frame Eric Thames infield in the overshift here now the pitch now oh my this ball is crushed look at it go and gone up into the second deck Solo shot to right center, his second of the game as this lead got even wider. The long ball is playing in this one. That was the fourth blast of the game so far for this lineup. Dan Dero, what are your thoughts on what they're doing as a team so far? Dan, they're absolutely knocking the cover off the ball. I'm curious to get your take on this. I didn't now, find it to be the truth. I didn't good. mind hitting that night. Yeah, but a lot of guys say they see the ball better during the day. You know what's funny, Dero, is, is I preferred to pitch in night games as opposed to day games. I always thought it was advantage to the hitter. And so far, that looks like it's the case in this one right here. They must be seeing the ball really well because they're, they're just absolutely smoking the baseball right now. Pilar is right there, one down. Now batting the shortstop, Willie Adame. One out here in the Tampa Bay fourth, and up next will be Willie Adamas. Yeah, Matt, that last at bat, that was a pretty good pitch. A fastball down and away that he went out and hooked and pulled it. So if I'm on the mound right now, I'm going to have to think about. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field, and it's gone as they add still another. So it's a solo shot to dead center his second home run of the game as they just continue to pour it on here. Boy this guy just keeps going on his 40th home run of the season and he's not done yet. He keeps this up. He's definitely going to be in the conversation for some of the year end awards. Standing in now, Kevin Kiermeyer. Kevin Kiermeyer. And he puts it on the ground to second. And that's in there for a base hit, his third hit of the game. Every game the pitcher gets the lineup card, he circles the guy that can't now beat him. It. Well, obviously, he didn't circle this guy. That's his third knock Four. of the game, and he has been on fire lately. Stepping in now, G-Man Choi. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Gone! It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. And so he ties the big redhead with home run number 70 on the year as the blowout continues. And we get another look here. He is now in elite company with home run number 70 right there. Now batter. In now, the Joey Wendell. Wendell. Joey Wendell. As he hits one on a line to left field, but pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. The third baseman. 
Number five. Stepping in, Matt, Matt Duffy. He's working Duffy. on a one for three thus far. First pitch coming. Here it is. Ah. And a fastball is in there for strike one. one. Four runs here in this half inning. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Wow, his manager must have a lot of faith in him, and Tommy. I'm not sure why. There. He's given up five hits in this inning alone, and it doesn't look like it's going to come to an end anytime soon. At the plate, Tommy Pham. He flew out in his last at bat. He's set. Here it comes. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And that's through into left. A base hit. He'll come home with it. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. Now batting. Pepper. Mike. Zunino. You'd have thought someone had a radar gun on him with the effort he put into that throw. That's a cannon of an arm right there. Into the box, Mike Zanino. Yes, he'll swing at the first pitch and bang one into right center field. That's a base hit. And this one will bounce into the wall. Pham is on his way home. He will score as they extend their lead even further. Man, I think I've run out of support to talk about their offensive production in this one. Some teams don't score 17 runs in a four-game set, let alone in one game here. It's been incredible. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Eric Thames, he went deep last time up. Going back to that last A.B., that was the express. That was an upper 90s fastball that he turned around. So I think with this guy, you might want to try to incorporate some more off-speed pitches. Uh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. A two run blast to straight away right field. His third home run of the ball game as this lead got even wider. Well, in hockey, they call it a hat trick. Hitting three home runs in one outing is a heck of a lot harder and a lot more rare. He's having an afternoon he'll never forget. Now back into the box now, Daniel Robertson. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Swing and a drive. This one's deep to right, but that'll be off the right field wall. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. The batter. And that, one. as you see, Four will top. extend his hitting streak to an even 30 ball games. That is some month of baseball. Dero, I'm going to have to ask you about this. Is that kind of the number when you start thinking about, hey, you're having a really good streak? Uh, I, I would say five is probably a really good So this guy's breaking right now. 30 games. Number you know what 31. I think of when I think of 30 Joe. games? That's a month of sleeping with just nice dreams every night. One knock every game for a month. Pretty special. Joe Biagini answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Stepping in now, Willie Adamas as he swings and lifts it in the air out to shallow right field. And that's going to fall for a base hit. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. Before this game started, if you have asked them if they would have been happy to score nine runs in a game, they'd take it all day long. But nine in an inning? That's just insane. Into the box, Kevin Kiermeyer. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. 
First pitch on its way. Hit hard down the right field line. But a foul ball. The 0 1 on its way. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. But not before they hang a nine spot on him here to really open up this ball game. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The Rays are in front, 20 to nothing. Digging in, Kevin Pillar back to the top of the lineup Leading as they're still looking Colorado. for their first base the runner in this fielder. one. No doubt Kevin. about that, Matt. They've yet to figure oh, this guy oh. out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Still no balls and two strikes. Popped up. Choi is there. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now back, second baseman. Now at the plate, Devin, Devin Travis. He looked to bounce back Devin. after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Pham moves over. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Third baseman, number Brandon three. Brandon Drury will bat Brandon. next. Comes into this at Drury. bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first. Guillermo Arenia is into the game as a defensive replacement now as he takes over in right. Now playing right field. Number 54. Fastball over the outside, but in there for a strike. Now a swing, and here's an immediate chance for the new guy as this is in the air to right. But this will land untouched. Trying to send him packing for the second time. A bouncer to the left side. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. And they remain well, well behind. G-Man Choi, he'll start things out as we begin the fifth. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. And he is in the second base with a double. His third hit this afternoon. Now batting. And this is just base. a cut fastball. He's Joey. trying to sneak in the back Wendell. door. He's unable to get it done. Leaves it right over the heart of the plate. And that, that's just too easy for a guy like this. He's licking his chops as the ball arrives. And he drills it to the outfield for an extra base hit. Standing in now, Joey Wendell as he rips it on the ground to second. And that's through into center field. Base hit. 
And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with nobody out.